Don't talk back against your men. What is he saying? I don't even understand what he's saying. He doesn't clarify that at all. I watched the, she the said ESPN she hit him, clip. Right? She says that she hit him. I don't know if that was what he was referring to, but that's the thing. Stephen A. Smith doesn't clarify what he's referring to. And so I, I totally agree that any type of physical altercation is totally unacceptable, regardless of who does it, whether it's a man or a woman. But when it comes to men and women, there's obviously a little bit of a power imbalance. And yeah, Anna, you're so correct. There's such a big, giant power imbalance. I mean, if she grabs a gun, he's still stronger, right? If she grabs a knife, he's still stronger, right? Such a power imbalance, huh? What I mean by that is men are obviously stronger than women in most cases. Not You see this, guys? When it suits the feminist agenda, females become weak and frail. If it doesn't suit their agenda, they're strong and powerful and independent. In all cases. So in this case, he knocked the shit out of her. Good man. Right? And so if you use this story to make your point about how women are provoking domestic violence, you're using a really, really bad example. Classic Anna, knowing exactly what the problem is, admitting that they are the problem, but then twisting it around to suit her nasty feministic agenda. You're talking about an NFL player. Victim role. Yeah, yeah. Who's obviously and, bigger and stronger. And by the way, I mean, like we can, we can sort of like debate what he meant philosophically based on what he said, but do things that get this reaction and they should watch out not to do those things so we don't have to knock them out. Yeah, right? and by the way, I agree with half that argument. Women shouldn't do those things. So if a woman thinks it's a good idea to slap a man or hit a man or do anything physical like that, it's unacceptable. But it's up to the man to be the bigger person. Yes, man, didn't you realize that? It's up to you to be the bigger person. If she's coming after you with a gun, just stand there and take the bullet because it's up to you to be the bigger person. Both, you know, uh, mentally and physically. Did Anna just say that men are stronger and smarter? For once, that bitch finally said something decent. And not hit her back. You, you divorce her, go to couples counseling, you got. Yeah, don't you dare hit her back. Go to couples counseling. That'll really fucking help when she's coming after you with a gun. You gotta handle it in a different way because you know you're physically stronger. But I thought we were equal. Right now the video will split and it looks like I did it, but I didn't do it. It was the Young Turks that did it themselves. I guess he made a good point that Anna could not tear down. You know, and you see how hard it actually is. It's a weird conclusion, but. Yes, Anna, it's so hard for me to continuously make up these straw men for you to knock down. It's so hard for me constantly to make a new excuse. I ran out of excuses. Look at me, I'm stuck. I don't know what to say how hard it is to run anything, an agency, a company, people just don't care, man. They just don't care. They just want to protect themselves. I mean, this is, I, I know this is weird, but I, I got a little depressed from the Stephen A. Smith story too. Uh, so Anna was talking about this to me off air. And Come on, Anna, knock this down. I can't do it anymore. I have no more excuses left. I have nothing left to think of. Take it over from me. Help me. And then I looked into it more, and no, it's unbelievable. The majority of people, even our viewers, were upset at us. How dare they be upset with us? All we're trying to do is brainwash them. Why are they upset with us? What the hell did we do? We're innocent. We're the Young Turks. For questioning Stephen A. Smith. And they're like, yeah, no, no, no. The idea that you shouldn't hit a woman if she's smaller than you, they find repulsive. Yep. They think, well, of course I should beat the shit out of her if she touched me, right? The Young Turks are shocked that their own public turns against them because they believe in self-defense. Oh, shame on you, general public, for believing in self-defense. Right? That's fair. That's fair. And then we say, okay, how about if it's a 13-year-old boy? How about if it's just somebody that's smaller than you that, yes, you can pummel if you wanted to, but you shouldn't out of decency? More straw man arguments? No, they don't agree. Mm -hmm. They think you should kick the shit out of them and get your vengeance out, even though you can do anything you want to them. I despair of humanity when I see that, man. But we, the Young Turks, brainwashing everybody, that's just fine. We have no conscience for right and wrong, but if the general public disagrees with us, we take offense. Am, am I, I, are we in the minority? That yes, you, the psychopaths, are the minority. We yeah, think we are. We are in the minority. Nothing made that more apparent to me than that Stephen A. Smith story. And forget about Stephen A. Smith. Take him out of the equation. Let's specifically talk about a situation where a smaller person, man or woman, hits a much larger, physically powerful person. People will make the argument that it's okay to beat the shit out of that person, even knowing that they can easily get themselves out of that situation. It's almost as if they're waiting for an excuse to use physical violence. 
Yes, a person who just got hit and strikes back is looking for a reason for physical violence. Anna, you are completely fucking mental. And the notion that saying don't use physical violence, don't fight violence with violence, riles people up, pisses me off beyond belief, and honestly, it makes me question what the fuck I'm doing with my career. Anna, we all wonder what the fuck you're doing with your life and your career. Because if those are the types of people that I'm trying to do these stories for, then I don't know if it's worth it, right? No, okay, no. I know, it makes me, it makes me angry. I... Okay. So Here comes another Anna bitch fit. Duck, everyone. Sorry, I'm getting heated about it because it's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. If someone hit me, even if they were physically stronger than me, my reaction isn't going to be, okay, how am I going to beat the shit out of this person? My reaction is how do I get myself out of this room and protect myself and ensure that I don't fight this violence with violence? Maybe that's a crazy thing. Maybe I am in the minority, but I think that that makes me a better person. I think it's very clear what Anna is really after, trying to create the world in the vision that she wants it to be. It will never happen. She's completely insane. The Young Turks are completely fucked up. This is War Does Fire. See you all later. Have a great day. Bye.